have you ever thought of an idea for an anime or a manga and you've looked at it and you were all like this is such an innovative idea and you know people are just gonna be like man that was so well done like full metal alchemists or soul eater these have these innovative ideas that are super cool and super well done sword art online is not bad today we're gonna be reviewing sword art online this thick piece of book right here gosh dang it the year is 2022 a new brand of MMORPGs has come out to where that you can fit yourself into a virtual reality helmet and immerse yourself into a virtual reality world. With the help of brain signals and the five senses, it's able to make it seem like you are actually in the world. And that's a pretty cool concept, and it's very well explained right in this book. But Dot Hack has done it plenty of times, so... I mean, it's not that impressive, but it's also really cool how it's explained rather than just like, we're here because of game. Also, Lock Horizon. I never explained that either. That's dumb. Anyway, so our main character is Kirito, a solo player who loves to wander around this MMO, which if you are an MMO player watching this, you do know that that never works ever, ever. MMOs, you're supposed to be with a group of people, but Kirito likes to go off on his own just because he's that cool. So anyway, it revolves around him just wandering around trying to beat this game that they are now stuck in. The creator, Akihiko Kayaba, has trapped people in this world and wants them to accomplish all 100 floors and beat the game. So, Kirito is trying to beat the game and also trying to survive at the same time. But also, along the way, he's gonna fall in love with the girl, he's gonna be antisocial and emo as crap. But hey, that's just sword art online. So the first problem I have with this is that Kirito is way too freaking perfect. It is so inconvenient that he is able to do all of these things because he is a solo player. He was a beta tester of the game before it came out so he knows quite a bit about something that legitimately doesn't help him in any way shape or form at all he just kind of knows where everything is but that doesn't help him at all skill wise because he sucked in the beta and that's not even explained in here that's explained in the anime I am going to be basing every single part of this off of the manga this single volume alone I am not going to be basing it off of the anime. I may look back at it sometime, but I'm not going to base this review off the anime. I'm going to be basing it off the manga. Enough said. So back to the story. It is way too convenient for Kirito to be so good at the game. I mean, he can legitimately, he's like 20 levels above everyone, and yet he's able to, he beat a boss entirely on his own. People that, as he said himself, only raids can handle. Raids are a large group of people trying to beat a boss. He beat it solo, by himself. That is impossible. But just because he's scared so, this, this might as well just be a shonen story. It just might as well be. Because he is able to accomplish feats that no player is able to do. He has this one skill. He's able to, by the end of the book, He's able to accomplish a skill called dual wielding, where it's a special skill. Only one person is, only one other person has such a special ability. But more on that later. It is ridiculous. He is able, when there's an arc of where there's a young girl named Yui who they find in the woods, and she ends up being a AI program for the game. He is able to hack into a computer, a huge computer like that. If he was able to do something like that, why didn't he, I don't know, hack everybody out of the game? That would be cool, but no. He just tries to hack the computer so that way he can save his precious daughter. That is stupid, and it's convenient to the plot, and it's dumb, and I hate it. The story itself is kind of an in incohesive mess. Jumping back and forth between flashbacks that are way too short and 
make me not emotionally attached to any characters whatsoever. And it jumps back and forth between the two years that they were in SAO, and I think that it's really not well done at all. Like, sometimes, like, it was not until later on that Kirito revealed why he doesn't like to be in guilds. It wasn't introduced until a lot later on. And the flashback in total was about 10 pages. And I wasn't really emotionally attached to the characters at all. I mean, it was sad in the anime because it was like an entire episode, which was still short to begin with. But when you are a fast reader, 10 pages is not a lot to get emotionally attached to these characters. And it didn't make me feel bad at all that they died. Whatsoever. Sword Art Online has a good problem of not knowing how to tell a good story. Because this isn't a good story. It had a really cool idea that Dot Hack did. But this time they explain it some more. But this just kind of sucks. I mean, it was just like... If you're going to be trapped in a game and you're going to be able to have all these things, why not just, like, accomplish the game? Why are you worrying about all these things? Kirito, why are you so antisocial? You should be dead by now, honestly. Like, I'm not even joking. He should have been dead a long time ago. But it wasn't until the very end of the book that he died. Spoiler alert, he dies. More than likely, a lot of you have already seen the anime by now. So I'm not even going to worry about it. The thing is, is this, like... He's able to do all these things. The Okay, this is a spoiler right here. If you haven't seen the anime, then let me just say that this is going to be a spoiler. Got three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, so the creator of the game is Akiko Kayaba. Well, he comes down and he's now a player in the game. And so him and Kirito get in a one-on-one -on -one battle and he's all like, Oh, no, no, no cheating, you know? And so they're going to get in a fight. He gets in a fight, and he kills Kirito, and then Kirito is all like, No, I don't want to die. So he comes back to life, and he kills Akihiko Kayaba. That's dumb. Like, that's really dumb. Really dumb. I hate it. Then he still never answers the questions. Why did Akihiko Kayaba create Sword Iron Lion? Why did he make people be stuck in this world? I don't know. You tell me. Because he never answers it in here either. Whoa, this is bad. Oh. Oh, this is real bad. I'm not, I'm not going to mention the sto story part. But Asuna. Oh, boy. We'll get to you. So the characters are as cookie, -cutty, uh, cookie cutter as they come. Because Kirito, main protagonist... Super silent, swordsman guy who's super cool, but he's able to do all these things and able to accomplish all these impossibilities to the system that nobody else can conquer, making him a very unrelatable character, and I hate it. He is just like... I'm not, I'm not even joking. A large majority of the final like few chapters is, if I have Asuna, then I'm gonna survive. It is, it is so dumb, and it is terrible and I hate this why did I read this Kirito is not a good character he's not a relatable character I don't like him he's able to dual wield that's cool he really can't do much he just can kind of hold a sword in real life he just kind of sucks a whole lot okay so Asuna, Asuna is pretty something. Asuna is pretty confident at the beginning, uh, but she wasn't at all in the end because it was so stupid. <laughs> Asuna is a terrible character. At first, I thought she was really cool, confident and stuff, and she was able able to do some things. She was actually interesting. But no, by the end, she's all like, I love him, Kirito. That's so dumb. Why would you get attached to that guy? He's awful. Like, it's so dumb. I don't hate that. Like, I hate this book so much. Asuna is a, Asuna was a actually interesting character. Like, there are parts in the anime, and there are other parts in the book where she's actually pretty cool. 
But when she starts having feelings for Kirito and just becomes his his romantic interest, it's terrible. He's he he literally does nothing like to woo her woo her over, other than I'm I'm here, I'm kind of here. She's really weak and useless, and I don't like it. I don't like her. Asuna is, I I, I mean, I I do kind of like her. When she's not around Kirito. That's about it. Some other smaller characters, because who else gets screen time in this book, am I right? I mean, you got Klein, who was there for like a first chapter. He was actually pretty cool. He did nothing, though. He showed up in like the beginning, and then the last few chapters, and legitimately did nothing other than just, Hey, Kirito, you're my friend. Agil was just kind of like, Agil was a girl. Like, before he turned in, like into his real self, he was a girl. That bothers me a lot. I mean, Aguil's pretty cool, but he still did nothing other than just, like, try to con people. That was kind of funny. A lot. No, it wasn't at all. Um, then, uh, Heathcliff. Heath Heathcliff. Uh, he was a guy. He was Akihiko Kaiba. He cheated his entire way through the entire game. That was dumb. Man, I don't like this at all. I'm not gonna lie. Kirito was kind of an interesting character. I really did enjoy the fact that Kirito almost died in the end. That was kind of interesting. But at the same time, it really wasn't. Because Asuna came in and saved the day. Which, I have to admit, there was that one part that I actually didn't enjoy in the story. Because of those characters. Asuna was confident, but she relied off of Kirito, which was completely terrible. And in the end, Kirito had to save the day. But Kirito was, like, really creepy. Kirito, I, I I, don't understand why he got so butthurt. He just lost a duel. Like, calm down, man. I, that was about it. Honestly, that's as many characters as there was. There really wasn't anybody else. I'm not even lying. I think it was just about those six characters. And that was it. That was it. So this section's gonna be really weird. It's gonna be really weird. Because the art is not good. The art is not good. At all. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pick my top five favorite frames of the entire book that suck. And I'm gonna show you because the illustrator, Tamako Nakamura, or Tama Tamako Nakamura, doesn't fit at all. It doesn't fit the, this doesn't fit at all. So I'm going to show you my top five favorite frames. Let's go. So number five is going to go to this bucko right here. He looks like a monkey. Like that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty nice. And then Kirito's in the back just like, <laughs> Number, number four has to go to this frame right here. It just looks like they were cardboard cutouts. And look at those fingers. Just look at those fingers. Oh my. This this one isn't really based off of the art, but it's kind of stupid because he's all like, dang, it got down to 80%. That's dumb. Oops, where did his mouth go? And finally, the I forgot to do things anywhere a few lines and two really crappy people there we go sort of line in many cases has made me why have I reviewed manga again sort of line was a very interesting read I spent money on it. I spent money on that. I did. A a whole twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I spent twenty dollars on this. Well crap. I really don't know what else to say that it hasn't been said already. I I I, I don't like Sword Iron Line. Kirito is not good. There are many there are a lot of people who can explain it better than me. 
There is an entire breakdown of the UE scene that I was trying to freak out on Mother Basement's channel. Mother's Basement channel. That guy. Um, so go find him. Mother's Basement. He's really cool. Uh, uh, he explains it a lot better than I do. Uh, a better review for this is also uh, Glass Reflection Arcata. Um, he does a review for the first season. And the second season. I mean, I'll get there first, but right now I'm just reviewing Ironcrad. Uh, but the the case is, is just that Sword Art Online was is a idea that was done before that has such an awful execution that it makes me just really sad for. Because Sword Art Online, if you didn't know, was the first anime that I had ever watched. And without it, I wouldn't be here today. I mean, it was good for a first watch. But going back to it, it's not that good. I mean, it's not that good. If you are literally a beginner anime watcher, that could be something that gets you into it. But there's some weird things that happen. But Aincrad is not that good at all. And, I mean, the filler... This is the only time that I'll probably ever say this. The filler is honestly helping the anime more than the manga like it uh sword art online gets a total score of 2.9 out of 10 please do not buy this please please don't buy this i do not like this this is not good this is not good at all Thanks, thanks for watching. If you have a differing opinion, then you can always put it on Twitter. Hey, follow me on Twitter while you're putting your differing opinion. Tag me and then I'll listen to it, probably. Um, follow me on some, YouTube. Subscribe. Um, you know, you can always comment, too. Uh, opinions are always welcome in the comments as well. Um, and then... I don't know what else to do. I'm so broken by this series. Just, I don't know what else to do. You know what? I'm getting rid of this. I can't deal with this.